everyone welcome to my channel bgf channel where i talk basically on snail wearing my name is grace or Ebemile. today i will be talking on identifying common african giant snail species and their features people have been calling me to find out um different types of species of snails when i say this or that oh my imaginata they say what are all those things we don't know them so today i'm making this video to enlighten all my clients and prospective clients on different species of snails all right we have three basic species of snails in africa those are the most common ones we have the achantina fulica we have the achantina marginata and we have the achantina achantina i come again we have the achantina fulica achantina marginata and we have the achantina achantina one the Argentina fulica is narrow the shell is narrow conical and is dark the tail is pointed like this i don't have the fulica here i would have shown you but this is what how the tail looks like it's pointed and sharp like this the fulica grows to about a length of 20 centimeters in length then it um it's it lays 200 to 500 eggs in a clutch and it can lay that for three to four times in a year. That's the Achantina fulica. Then the second one is the Achantina achantina. The Achantina achantina. This is it. You can see the color. It is a mustard yellow, and it is a combination of mustard yellow and black, or let's say dark brown. The combination of mustard yellow and dark brown. The skin is uh, gray. It has the tail is pointed to very pointed and sharp. This is the Achantina Achantina. This Achantina Achantina is very good for commercialization. Why? Because of its volume of production. It lays also between 200 and 500 eggs in a clutch and it can lay three times in a year. It can even go as far as laying four times in a year. So you can multiply. You know how, how many that will be if you have 100 of this Achantina Achantina. Because of its volume of uh, egg, egg production, it is very good for commercialization. However, in Nigeria, our weather doesn't favor the Achantina Achantina because our weather is harsh. But in places like Ghana, Ghana, the weather, um, Ghana's weather favors it more. However, farmers like us are still trying to breed it here in Nigeria. But you have to make their environment very conducive, very humid. Their environment must be very humid and damp. They must not be overpopulated. And you wet them every day. Every day you wet the pen. You have to take care of them. Extra care for the Achantina Achantina. That's the second uh, breed. Then we have the Achantina Marginata. Achantina Marginata. This one is um, grows to adults. It grows to about... 21 centimeter in length that is this one this one here too is the achantina marginata it grows to 21 centimeter in length you can see this one is very big this one is about 10 months old already it's very big well this one is around nine months between eight to nine months old all right this achantina marginata one it has a mottled color of white brown and black the major difference is that you can see it has a pink tail and the tail is not pointed like that of the achantina achantina the achantina marginata's tail is blunt not pointed then the shell color too is always pink and most of the time the shell tail too is always pink the shell color is pink, the shell tail is pink. This uh, Achantina marginata lays 5 to 15 eggs per clutch and it can also lay 3 to 4 times in a year. So that's an average of 40 to 80 eggs in a year. That's the Achantina marginata. This uh, advantage of the Achantina marginata is that it has a high adaptability rate. Anywhere you put it, it will adapt. Mortal mortality rate is very, very minimal because of the, uh, its ability to adapt to weather conditions. The Achantina marginata is the most common one that farmers really like farming because of that low mortality rate. 
it has two types this Argentina marginata has two types we have the Argentina ovum and the Argentina saturalis this is the saturalis well this one here is the Argentina ovum you see this one this is the one that grows very big we call it jumbo size it grows to be it grows into a jumbo size that's the Argentina ovum this Argentina ovum is commonly found in the southwest of Nigeria while this Argentina saturalis is found in the south south region of Nigeria this saturalis has a higher egg production than this ovum however this ovum grows big faster than the saturalis the ovum grows to jumbo size in by nine months ten months is already jumbo size while this before it gets to jumbo size it will be about 14 months before the saturalis gets to jumbo size however the egg production of the saturalis is more than the egg production of the ovum also the ovum's eggs are bigger than that of the saturalis that is the difference between these two these these two are Argentina marginata this is Argentina marginata ovum while this is Argentina marginata saturalis so that is it i've talked on the three major species of uh, the african giant snail we have the Argentina fulica we have the Argentina Argentina we have the Argentina marginata the marginata we have the ovum that is grown in the southwest and we have the saturalis that is grown in the south south all of them are very good for commercialization. They all have their advantages. They all have their disadvantages. However, most farmers love to farm the Argentina marginata and also the, uh, the Argentina marginata saturalis or the Argentina marginata ovum. The Argentina argentina, like I said earlier, it needs a lot of care. So a lot of farmers avoid it. However, if you can breed it, it is very good for commercialization. Well, that is what I have to, to tell you for today. You can call me for your consultation. Call me to place your orders on 0803-645-1033. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And subsequently, I'll be posting more videos on different aspects of snow farming. Thank you all and God bless.